एवरीवन वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू ऑल वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एल्गोरिदम यस दिस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी एग्जाम व्हाट एवर एग्जाम यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग इफ यू आर ए कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट एंड यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी एग्जाम व्हाट एवर यूजीसी नेट सेट गेट any competitive exam semester exam always and even also the industry also if you are going for industry if you are trying to act uh, interview if you want to get a job then data structure algorithm is the most important part of your life right without data structure algorithm you cannot go ahead it's not possible you cannot go ahead without data structure algorithm and that's why we are going to start the data structure algorithm today and here you will learn the data structure algorithm tell me how many of you are feeling this is little bit tough are you feeling easy is this easy data structure algorithm is easy tough or you are feeling getting scared or sometimes you are not able to understand little bit complicated where you are feeling mainly in algorithm part डेटा स्ट्रक्चर तो हो जाते हैं मैम लेकिन एल्गोरिदम में प्रॉब्लम हो जाते हैं है क्या नहीं इज इट लाइक दैट वी आर एबल टू डू डेटा स्ट्रक्चर मैम बट इन एल्गोरिदम व्हेन एवर इट इज कमिंग इन एल्गोरिदम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी यू हाउ टू डू दोस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी तो समझ में ही नहीं आता है वी आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड we are not able to understand the algorithm complexity how to do those complexities and all sometimes you are getting confused if it is like that then definitely complete this series definitely complete this test series very very easy very very it will be easy tell that yes data structure algorithm is easy and it it is a course coding subject it is easy and it is very very much coding area very important area every exam they will ask you question and every you have to be very very much confident okay i can see that after this class anything will be easy <laughs> that's the answer that's the answer very good whenever you will complete this course whenever you will complete this course after that it will be very easy for you i am telling you if you are completing this course with me the series with me previously i did not take the series of data structure algorithm in this in this channel so now i took the responsibility of ds algo means yes it will be also easy for you this is also will be very much interesting very much easy and you will be definitely get a good score in this area so first of all you have to understand that what is data structure what is algorithm and what are the topics we need to cover from where they are asking question that is that is main main thing is that everyone take your pen and paper whenever you are starting a subject then you have to know that what are the topics are there i have to cover what are the topics right yes yes a uh, yes yes so good everyone everyone be ready with your pen and paper today i will tell you the overview understanding of this subject what are the things we have to understand what are the things we have to know okay before i saw algorithm class after study okay very good very good i also learn from you vidivan very good very good very good so here that uh, previously i took the classes on revision class marathon class but that type of series means uh, in from each and every topic from basic to advanced everything i did not cover previously yes so here i will meet manisha okay this is manisha manisha okay chalo everyone hundred four learners are they are all are very much excited to learn the ds algo so what is data structure what is algorithm what is data structure data structure means it is a location where you are going to store location that used to store or organize the data you are putting something in word drop you are making word drops you are uh, taking some storage purpose you are taking everything so everything is there right everything whenever we are trying to store anything 
we need to organize that the book shelves are different the word drops are different the utensils uh, area is different so we have to store our data whenever we want to store the data then at the time of storing the data what we have to think that how to store so that we can access it easily that is the purpose of data structure nothing else different different way as per our requirement we are going to store so that we can access it easily that is data structure and algorithm what is algorithm an algorithm is the collaboration of the steps of solve a particular problem algorithm is that whenever you are trying to solve the problem that is called algorithm whenever you are trying to solve a problem the step by step process what you want to do that is algorithm only that is the topic here so whenever you don't know algorithm how you will solve the problem to solve the problem definitely you have to know the algorithm right so here what are the topics are they are in data structure write down every one and from here what are the most important topic the basic area is array after that stack queue these are the three basic data structure what we are using array stack queue after that next one is the link list very very important questions are asking from here and the concept is also very important link list hashing hashing is the next data structure hashing different types of hashing always questions are coming from hashing hash table hashing uh, hash uh, different types of access how it is going on always always questions are coming from here heap mean heap max heap it is also a important part mean heap max heap graph most of the graph part already we cover in the graph theory graph theory is the common topic of data structure and the discrete math most of the graph part already we cover in the graph theory part some of the graph algorithm are there that is path algorithm uh, shortest path algorithm and some of the algorithms are there what we will cover here also and the five star topic five star topic is tree this is a five star topic always every exam every exam one question at least will be there from tree definitely definitely cover this topic that is tree don't miss the tree definitely so many different different types of trees are there binary search tree avl tree be a uh, normal binary tree or how to do the pre order post order different types of questions they are asking from tree and tree is a very very important area it is a five star topic must write down that yes it is a five star topic i have to complete it okay now here you can see under the tree what are the important topic under the tree what you have to cover okay these are the important topic just one minute one minute yes these are the important topics under tree from where every time questions are coming like tree data structure tree traversal binary tree full binary tree perfect binary tree complete binary tree balanced binary tree binary search tree avl tree b tree b plus tree red black tree these are the important topics from where you will get questions always you will get questions always from this area under the graph based data structure graph based where they are asking question spanning tree already we cover mini uh, spanning tree in the graph theory class already we cover the minimum spanning tree kruskal and prims algorithm strongly connected component component concept you did already in graph theory also adjacency matrix adjacency list what are the adjacent how to represent adjacent 
that you know but some question we will do on matrix list so that you can understand dfs bfs very very important depth first search breadth first search that we will do here dfs and bfs very very important topic questions are coming from here and after that the path algorithm that is here the bellman ford algorithm disaster algorithm Disaster algorithm, Bellman Ford algorithm, these are here. Okay, these are here. You can see under Disaster algorithm, Bellman Ford algorithm, and here these are coming under Greedy algorithm, like Kruskal, Prims, Hoffman coding also very very important. They are asking question and Ford Kruskal algorithm is also a Greedy algorithm. Different types of algorithm. different types of algorithms are very very important what are greedy algorithm what are dynamic algorithm what these are the different types of algorithm here here that you have to remember and the searching and shorting is this stuck no i think and the searching and shorting algorithm all types of searching and shorting all types of searching bubble short selection short insertion short mart short quick short these are most most important shorting algorithm if you are learning then you have to learn these all the algorithms all these algorithms and the heap short like uh, linear search binary search in syllabus so many shortings are there but out of this these these are very very important other than that the counting short is there radix short bucket short shell short these are also there but the star topic whatever i am mentioning this star these are most important topic what you have to cover you have to cover in detail how the shorting is working and after that you need to understand the complexities and all and you need to practice the questions on these algorithms also okay is this stuck no i think no i think right yes okay am i not getting the chat why ha huh. chats are not coming what just wait one minute yes yes okay okay now dynamic algorithm under dynamic algorithm it is coming under floyd versal algorithm longest common subsequence algorithm and some more algorithms are there but normally they are asking this questions so here here now these are the topic list and now i am showing you the previous years analysis of ugc net because through the ugc net previous years analysis you can understand that yes what are the questions they asked how many question they asked from this topic and what are the topic i have to prepare this is your ugc net uh, topic list okay so here you can see in 11th march they asked seven question they ask seven question here lower bound theory tree time time and space complexity after that complexity in np and lp here algorithm matching matching is always one matching on complexity list they are asking and this list is very very important this list is very very important there are 16 question they asked on 15 march you can see tree three three question they ask three question they ask on three after that avl tree total four question hashing breadth first base first search fast fourier transformation np complete and after that the algorithm divide and conquer greedy backtracking the comparison total 16 question they ask on algorithm here you can see 11 question complexity hashing recurrence relation very very important recurrence relation 
using master theorem most important always one question they are asking from here tree traversal hip shot breath first search b tree traveling salesman problem quick shot avl tree here again you can see tree tree, tree traversal bfs dfs uh, hashing then balance tree complexity double ended queue algorithm so you can understand that how to prepare yourself and these are the topics they are repetitively asking so definitely we have to go through this topic your topic list list is very clear i hope so your topic list is very clear what are the topic we have to learn yes i hope it is clear to everyone right yes or no so from where you want to start should we start from tree from where you want to start tell me from where you want to start you want to start from tree or basic from array stack queue some basic question some basic topic you will do after that we will go to tree what from where you want to start tree is it is this okay tree tree is very very important tree tree and yes tree is the very important topic because add a stack queue the basic topic everyone knows i hope so i hope so the basic ha huh? yes b tree b plus tree everything i will explain everything i will explain yes yes so i am doing one thing today we will do tree before doing tree the basic idea before doing tree the basic idea on add a some basic basic topic on array stack queue we will do after that i will come to the tree okay basic some basic topic 15 to 20 minute we will cover the basic so that the basic little bit revision and little bit uh, brush up will be there after that we can come to tree so that you will be confident okay yes ready so many of you are telling so you are confident about array you are very confident about array right so i can i ask a question on array as you are showing that yes i am very confident about array so okay first of all i am asking you a question try to solve the question tell me what will be the answer of this sure okay then good if you are very much confident about array and some linked list question stack question i will ask you after that we can go for it so tell me can you tell me this answer this question they ask two times in 2023 also they ask question on this array concept on this array concept 2023 that is june 2023 this same question on ugc net they copied two times two times here also they copied this question even also the comprehension question was here on this array concept plus the operating cost system concept i will upload that i will uh, discuss on that also okay yes i will discuss on that also so so tell me tell me what will be the answer i already start ravina i already start tell me what will be the answer yes i need answer from everyone b b b b b so many answers are coming okay let me show you what is the answer answer is b very good very good i don't know what is array means that concept okay okay uh, yes so b is the answer every those who know they are telling b is the answer but those who don't know for them i am coming to little bit basic of the array let me discuss the basic concept of array the basic concept of array means array is what array is the collection of items stored at a contiguous memory location contiguous memory location means one by one in a space you are storing one by one contiguous memory location it is okay 
like that we are starting the index from 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on now contiguous means what contiguous means if the starting location is 2000 whatever i am storing what are the different types of data integer data character data float type data different different types of data can be there so what types of data i am going to store in the array if i am storing integer maybe it will take two byte space character is taking one byte space float is taking four byte space so according to that if it is a integer array what type of array first of all you need to tell that is what type of data same type of data you have to store so as i am going to store the integer type data every every space will take two byte space so if my starting is 2000 then my next location will be 2002 then my next location will be 2004 then next location will be 2006 then next location will be 2008 then 2010 like this way it will be going on like this way it will be going on this is the array here array means contiguous means one by one you need to allocate the space and totally one by one address will be allocated totally one by one address will be allocated here this is the main concept of array now here are one dimensional array two dimensional array three dimensional array different different array can be there one dimension two dimension three dimension whenever you are storing how to declare a array here you have to declare like this this is the declaration like data type array name array size when i am taking that float marks five means there are float marks five means what it is a floating type of storing i want to store like that maybe the number what is the number that is maybe 86.5 then maybe 43.2 then maybe like this type of data i want to store then floating type there are five location 1 2 0 1 2 3 and 4 these are the data i am going to store here this is this is called the floating this is called floating okay clear is this clear got it yes this is called the what i am going to store very good 150 students i can see 150 live learners i can see here today that's great so everyone click the like button if you did not click then click on like button here I, must, I want to store this type of data I can here whenever I am taking the example I can initialize in any way it is possible I can initialize in any way like that here I am taking this integer type data and I want to store so that's why I have stored into the array I can do that even also I am not mentioning the size i can mention the size i maybe i am not i am not mentioning the size that is also possible without mentioning the size just i am going to put the i am going to store the date element into the array these are the elements i want to store so this is also correct this is also correct these are the two way i can initialize the array got it okay these are the two way i can initialize the array clear is this clear yes yes very good this is the two way i can initialize the array so here whenever whenever you are doing it then after that i need to do that array out of bound what is array out of bound what is array out of bound array out of bound means the space is not there you declare that there are 10 elements I want to store. But here I want to access the 12 number. Is it possible? There are 10 elements but number 12 is not there. How it is possible? The number 12 to not there. Right? Yes. So that's why it will give you the array out of bound error. This is called array out of bound error. Okay? 
clear yes int marks array is it possible yes it is possible that is i told it is definitely possible then after that you can initialize you can do it int mark after that you will again you will initialize you will enter the data in the for loop you are going to insert one by one that is possible definitely selvi that is possible right yes now see that here the multi dimensional array whenever the multi dimension means i want to store the 2d array i want to store the 2d array how to store the 2d array here is there in in your computer architecture in computer there is only sequential memory one by one memory locations are allocated okay it's not like that there is anything there is anything like that in a matrix format computer is not able to store in a matrix format we are virtually thinking that yes i am trying to store in a multi, in a uh, matrix format so but how how then how to represent it whenever i am trying to represent this 2d array actually this 2d array is working like that actually this 2d array is working like that sequentially only it will store this will be the first row after that this will be the second row then this will be the third row sequentially only it will work it's not working like that uh, if there is something like a matrix format no we are thinking it but actually it's not working like that okay here you can see the i want to do the 2d array whenever i want to do the 2d array then how i can represent it how to represent it here here you can see that c23 23 means there are two rows there are two rows and in every row there are three column this is telling you there are two rows and every row there are three column then i did it 130 means 130 is here then minus 159 minus 159 this will be allocated like this way even also i can do like this way also two i did not mention but from here on lead will be able to understand there are two row here also i can mention like this way this is also possible even also this is also possible 130 then minus 159 all these are correct okay the notation what is correct what is wrong that is also important guys i know that yes you know everything but still this is important because whenever this type of questions will be asked that is this correct it will give you error or no is it correct initialization it will work fine or not you will be confused that's why see that yes this is also correct this is also correct this is also correct all this way i can initialize here see i have been uh, we can use the bracket here here see that here we can use the bracket here we did not use bracket but still it will work as a 2d array because why because why you know because we are representing in this way but actually computer will store it like this way one by one it will store 1 3 0 then minus 1 5 9 actually computer is going to store like this way only computer don't know like this 2d format computer know only this format and it will start with the location 2000 if it is starting then it will be 2002 4 then 6 then 8 then 10 and 12 like this way it will work got it yes so 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 these are the location one by one it will store it's not like that you have to mention the second bracket always because it is ultimately sequential clear got it here you see that 3d array i want to do 3d array what is the meaning here actually there are two matrix there are two matrix like this and virtually we are thinking that it is a 3d array like this way virtually we are thinking like this 
and in that array there are three row and four column there are one two three rows one two three rows are there and four columns are there in each matrix this is the meaning here there are two matrix in this two matrix there are three color three row and four columns so three row four columns how to store the data first one is storing 3 4 2 3 this is the zeroth matrix this is one matrix first one so here it will be 3 4 2 3 3 after that 0 minus 3 9 11 3 after that 23 12 23 2 now here it is 13 4 56 3 and 3 then 5 9 3 5 and then 3 1 4 and 9 this is the way we are storing but we are thinking it's looking like that but actually is it looking like this actually in computer is it looking like this no computer will store in a sequence only it will store in a sequence only it will be like that 3 4 2 3 this is your first one then 0 minus 3 9 11 this is your second one then 23 12 23 2 this is your third one after that it will start here 13 4 56 3 this is your fourth one and so on got it clear clear is it so whatever it is it is 1d 2d 3d whatever it is ultimately it will be in a sequence ultimately it is in a sequence clear okay clear to everyone yes or no then after that it will be 5 9 3 5 then next one will be 3 1 4 and 9 now the thing is that if i want to access this one now the thing is that it is my starting location maybe 1000 1000 is my starting location now i am telling you you need to access this data you need to access 9 how you can access it how you can access it you need to access this 9 how to access this one how you can access it to store it to store to get it you have to think where it is it is in the second array it is the first array it is in the second array to come to this one that is i am explaining that is i am explaining ravina please have your patience i am explaining that see that i am explaining that only this is your first array and this is your second array right this is your first array this is your second array now what it is from the 0 1 2 3 like this the index are going on to come to this position how many space how many a uh, cell i have to traverse i need to count how many cell i have to traverse that is my target if we are able to do that how many cell i have to traverse then easily you can get the answer okay so now i am showing you and what is row major and column major this cr question came from here that was the comprehension type question row major and column major five question was there that is 5 into 2 10 marks question was there row major means whenever you are accessing the first row then second row then third row like this way you are going to access that is called row major column major means you are going to access in this way first column then second column then third column in this way you are going to access that is called the column major means this will be stored like this way a11 a12 a13 then a21 a22 a23 then a31 a32 and a33 
and here it is going to store a11 a21 a31 like this what it this is the difference between row major column major the small small understanding is also required because this small understanding only make a big question if your basic understanding is not clear then the big question you will be not able to do okay got it now here it was your 3d this is a 3d location how we are going to store the 3d array and here this question according to this question i took an example in this example you can see i want to access this location whenever i am trying to access this location where it is it is here to come to this one i have to traverse this complete array then i have to complete this matrix then i have to come here then i can reach to this destination that is only the possibility right so what i have to think in a complete matrix in a complete matrix it is a 2 cross 3 matrix so means how many cells are there total 6 cells are there in a complete matrix right yes yes clear clear two represent two matrix here whenever 3 3 it is the three matrix here two represent number of row in each matrix it is representing number of column in each matrix here it is representing how many matrix are there how many matrix are there it is representing in each matrix how many rows are there it is representing in how many columns are there in each matrix okay so see i have to traverse total 6 for each matrix now i have to cover two matrix there are two matrix i have to cover so means 2 multiply 6 that is 12 cell i have to cover definitely total 12 cell i have to cover right so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 this is 12 cell definitely i have to cover after that i will reach to my target matrix this is my target matrix that is the location here 2 this two location is telling you it is actually the third matrix very careful two means it is not the second matrix it is the third matrix because we are starting with 0 1 and 2 always array index is starting with 0 so that's why two means it is the third matrix so means before coming to third matrix you have to traverse two matrices and each and every matrix so number of matrix you will you can do that number of matrix plus multiply number of row multiply into number of column in that way we got it right 2 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 3 this is the way i can get the 12 after that when i came here then from this one i can understand which row it is it is the one means it is the second row to come to the second row i have to cover a complete row of that matrix now in that complete row how many columns are there there are three columns so i have to cover one row more multiply into three cells are there in one row that is this 1 2 3 this completely one row i have to traverse got it one row i have to traverse in one row there are three column now from here i can understand it is in which location one means it is the second location of the second column second row so means i have to traverse more one cell i have to traverse more one cell that is this one then i am able to reach here so what is my total total is 12 plus 3 plus 1 that is total is 16 right means i have to traverse total 16 cell then i can reach to here 
that calculation only we have to do how i can reach here that is the meaning so here 2 is telling you from the p i can get it 2 multiply 3 i am getting from y and z 1 multiply 3 i am getting from q and how many cells are there how many columns are there that is from the z only then r that is exactly which location it is from the r i can get it that's why your answer is this one is this clear is this clear to everyone this concept everyone know the array but how this work how actually this is working that is very very important is it clear to everyone yes got it check it and tell me is this clear or not Okay, very good, very good. It's clear. Okay, so that's why here it is your answer. Now, what they change? They can change this value x, y, z, p, q, r. They can change this value. This year, what they did? They change here p, q, r. They did it, and they did x, y, z here. In that way, they change and they are making confusion. Okay, so your concept should be clear. Don't try to memorize the answer. if you are memorizing the answer then your answer will be wrong because in 2023 they did it just the same question they ask and they change the value here and they ask the question and then the options will be different so be careful about that so that if your concept is clear you can handle this question and word multiply into word means that is the word size word size means integer means i have to multiply with two if it is character i have to multiply with 1 if it is float i have to multiply with 4 that is each and every cell each and every cell is what is that what is the value that's why we have to multiply with w that is the w got it yes so the stack and queue how the stack queue is working stack and queue stack and queue is working main purpose of stack is lifo lifo that is last in first out last in first out it is a stack of all the plates are you able to directly take this plate will you will will to directly take this plate if i am asking you take out this plate can you take it is it possible can you take it out is it possible can you take it out no because one by one first you have to take all other plate then only you can take this plate otherwise you cannot take it that is the stack that is the stack whenever you are trying to take it you have to take the first plate this one first this one first you have to take then you have to take this one then you have to take this one that is actually the concept of stack whatever you put last that one only take it take out first whatever you put last that one only you take out first otherwise directly you cannot take it out that is called last in first out that is called last in first out okay clear so here i am going to push all the data these are the push operation and these are the pop operations going on here this is called the push operation and these are the pop operations are here okay theek hai so what are the basic operation on stack these are the basic operation push add and implement of the stack pop remove and implement from the top of the stack is empty check if the stack is empty or not is full check if the stack is full or not pick means i am going to pick what element i want to pick that is called pick
okay so here here the data structure algorithm i will teach like this way as per mcq question okay <coughs> regarding colleges those who have to write the programming for that there will be the separate class where we have to write programming there i am not focusing i am focusing on the concept how to write the program of a stack how to write the program of a queue how it is working for that programming class will be there maybe separately um, in another time i can take but from now i am not focusing on programming because of the mcq exam we will focus as the mcq okay so what are the basic operation how it is working how the concept will be work the concept is working like that a pointer you have to take as a top pointer you have to take the top pointer okay yes pick means what element you are going to take that is called pick it is not that much important here i am telling you how it is working top you will you are going to take in the top of the stack from this this step only you can write your programming in c c c++ java whatever you can write your programming it is it will be very easy for you when initializing the stack first time we will initialize top equals to minus 1 when you are starting it it will be top equals to minus 1 on push whenever you are adding one element you are adding one element then you have to do top equals to top top plus plus means i am adding that i want to increase the value of the top that i will increase on pop we want to do minus minus definitely whenever i am going to pop pop then i will do top minus minus that is the simple one before push we need to check is it full that is your is full operation is it full that is your is full operation okay means i will check as per my stack size if my stack size is 10 all the 10 elements are already full can you push it no because it will be array array out of bound right it is already full array overloaded will be there if it is before popping i have to check is there is there anything that it is already empty if it is already empty i cannot pop anything right there is no element it's an empty array can i pop i cannot pop so these are the operation how it is working on stack normal operation these are the normal operation stack is empty push one by one we are doing top of the stack now 2 3 and one by one i am going to pop means i am going to return it this is the this is the way how it will work clear yes i hope it's very clear the stack operation how it is going on how to write the program this is the way only you will write the program okay now see <coughs> here what is the time complexity very very important stack time complexity what is the time complexity of a stack time complexity means what the basic idea of time complexity i am telling you basic idea time complexity means to do any operation how many times you means what are the total time you are investing if you are able to get it directly if you are able to take it directly that is called order of one means it is a constant time directly i am able to pick it that is called order of 1 if it is like that before getting that data i have to completely traverse all the complete element all the element then only i can take it so if there are n number of element after going through these all n number of element then only i can get it then it is called order of n then this is called order of n so here you can see whenever i am going to take push and pop push and pop is always going on in the top right always push will be also on the top pop will be also from the top 
so that's why it is only one time you are not accessing the total one just only you are pushing in the top you are going to take from the pot top that's why here the complexity is order of one that is the reason why the complexity is order of one push and pop both operation will be order of one clear is this clear yes i hope it's clear to everyone yes now you can see the program here i have given you the program you can check the program how it is working those who want to write the program you can write the program like this way this is the way how you can write the program here is the max you can take the max after that here is the stack you are declaring it is actually the array actually this is an array you are telling the array it is the top after that you are taking the pointer in the pointer top pointer you are doing minus 1 and every time whenever you are checking is full is it full then you are going to max minus 1 at the time of taking out and after that you can take that pop push and pop this is the way how it is working those who want to write the program you can check this programming how it is working programming i am not going to explain here programming class i will take the separately there i will explain the programming concept of data structure we will discuss here okay got it here you are doing it in this line is it required to discuss on programming i am not going on programming okay yes so here the applications when we are doing the applications of pro this one now we are going to queue how the queue is working queue is working on this this is the queue operation how the queue will work queue will work like that queue data structure like this is a queue right this is a queue this is a queue so queue means who is the first first one who came to the came first he is he or she is in the line he will get the chance first the last person will get the chance at the last definitely so that's why it is called fee four first in first out this is called fee four is students those who are watching maybe you are watching recording or someone if you need that yes i should explain the programming of stack queue and all if you want that classes that yes you want that classes for explanation of stack queue programming then let me know in the comment section i will try to arrange the separate series for how to write the programming on this way and what are the meaning and all for the programming i can arrange the separate course for you if you are interested those who are interested let me know in the comment section as per your requirement definitely i can arrange that okay but now i am focusing on the exam point of view that is the competitive exam where mcq are the main target then according to that i am taking the class those who are interested please let me know in the comment section okay everyone everyone those who are watching so it is the fifo it is called fifo here the fifo fifo is there here you can see a queue queue is the linear data structure it is also through the array i can do through the array i can do it whenever there is the scheduling we are using for the tick scheduling the purpose is there where we are using stack queue very very important stack we are using here it is we discuss also application of stack application of stack is the most powerful for the expression post fix expression there we are using stack it is very very important post fix expression we are using it okay and here whenever we are using queue then how the queue is working you can see n queue operation and d queue operation from one side i am going to insert from another side i am going to delete this insert operation is telling you n q and the delete operation is telling that d q n q and d q operation this insert operation is n q operation and this is called the d q operation 
from the rear end this is called the rear end and this is called the front end this is called rear end this is called front end okay here i have to take a front pointer here i have to take a rear pointer through the rear pointer i am going to insert and the through front pointer i am going to take it dq so q insertion done one end in the rear on the tail and i have to take the deletion from another end that is the concept how it is working when you are taking nq operation nq means nq operation will be insert the at at the rear end and return void means it's not returning anything void means nothing i am going to add it after that i am not returning anything dq dq operation will be performed from the front end and it will take that from the front right yes and every time you have to check the overflow here also is full is empty whenever you are inserting then you have to check because there is the capacity if the capacity out of bound you cannot do so is full and is empty operation will be also here okay two way normally stack queue everything two way we can represent one is the way of representation in array another representation will be linked list both way we can do linked list we will explain we will discuss linked list later here i am focusing on the array how to represent in the array we are working like this way okay here you can see how the algorithm is working first time whenever you are starting first time whenever you are starting if my max there are max is 6 max is 6 i took okay max is 6 okay those who are interested for them i will try be after this exam maybe before december it will be not possible because december exam is there so after december maybe i can focus on that okay those who are interested after december maybe i can start a from the beginning of programming total programming we can start so maximum equals to 6 i am going to put here now what will be happen here if rear equals to max minus 1 means always it is starting with 0 as always it is starting with 0 it will be 0 to 5 right that's why here if it is already 5 means it is what it is already overflow definitely which is already full otherwise otherwise if it is already there then we have to overflow otherwise here what we have to do if the front equals to minus 1 and rear equals to minus 1 both are minus 1 means you are in the starting point there is no one now you can say it front and rear equals to 0 means there is no one now and here you can set zero means you can start insertion okay else rear equals to rear plus one means you have inserted got it means you have inserted here here this is your array nothing is present so what you will do in beginning you saw that it is both are minus one now you fixed it as zero now you have inserted a element now you inserted the element like that maybe h you inserted here now after that what i will do my rear will be rear plus 1 means my now rear equals to 1 because it was zero now it is 1 now rear will be point here now again i will insert e that is this one after that again it will be 2 now rear is 1 now i am inserting l in that way insertion will be going on that is nq will be going on i am going to insert whenever it is full i am going to pick it right so whenever i am doing the dq insert and now i am going to delete it how to delete wherever i am my rear is here okay and maybe front was here in this in this area first one was the h first one was h here now i want to dq dq will be from here right first one g dq will be from here then what i will do 
if front equals to minus 1 and front greater than rear means what means it is over under flow means nothing is there it is the situation where nothing is there but here everything is present so this is false else we will do set value equals to q to the front now front is here actually front was here i will take the value i will pick the value my value is now h i take the value after that i will do front equals to front plus 1 now it is here i took it out now i will take this one again the front now i will take this one then again front will be increased now front is here now again it will be increased like this way it will work this is the way how the q is working what it concept clear how the q is working and how the stack is working yes from where the stack is working and from where the q is working is this clear concept is this clear to everyone anyone have any doubt anyone have any doubt in stack q operation how it will work clear parsing means no doubt no doubt how to implement it yes ok good very good everyone so it is your through the linked list yes 830 class is there Anand 830 logical reasoning class is there ok so it is through the linked list whenever you will learn the linked list linked list I will discuss link list for that uh, we have to take a class i will take the class link list i will discuss then you can understand the link list also through the link list how to represent concept is same concept is same just how to write in link list this is the way you can write in link list okay algorithm to insert operation and queue okay studying compiler design subject okay 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 so here here you can see this is the complete insertion operation how the algorithm is working this is the complete allocate this ptr then ptr value front equals to null set front equals to rear and ptr this is the way your linked list will work okay now here you can see the output in here it is the utilization there are different types of queue also what is called circular queue? What is called circular queue? Small overview of queue. Ah, this is the queue only. Is this clear or not? Yes. Hmm? Circular queue means what actually what will be happen? Normal queue whenever I am taking the normal queue. It is a normal queue, right? Whenever you are taking that normal queue. Then it will be complete this is complete right after that there will be overflow or underflow there will be overflow it may be happen it is it is showing here but these at the place are already blank this is place are already blank but you cannot utilize it so that's why we are pointing like this way so that whenever i am trying to insert I can insert here. What will be happen here? Think it. 0, 1, 2, 3. There are element may be A, B, C, D. Okay. This is already full. Now, here was the pointer. I take it out. Yes. Here is the pointer. I take it out. Whenever I am taking out, then it is increasing, right? I am taking from the front. But we did, whenever I am taking out, then we are doing front equals to. You can see that 
after insertion whenever we are inserting then we are doing it whenever we are deleting it whenever we are deleting it we are doing front equals to front plus 1 right yes so what will be happen here this is 0 first time front was 0 I take it out after that front is 1 after that front is 2 I take it out now the front is 3 now I want to insert rear is also here in the 3 rear is also here in the 3 right now what will be happen these are the places are actually blank actually now these places are actually blank but can you insert can you insert in this position in a normal one in a normal one can you insert dq is the deletion yes nq is the insertion dq is the deletion dq is deletion nq is insertion here i am deleting so i am increasing my front and rare was what was rare rare can i do it now is it possible rare whenever i was inserting what i did here at the time of insertion chuck come to the insertion part in the insertion part what i did that front equals to rare rare equals to rare plus one right and i am checking it that rare is maximum minus one then it is overflow then it is overflow so that's why what will be happen here rare is taking 3 that is max minus 1. My max was 4 and rare is now showing 3. So it will show me overflow right. It will show me overflow. I cannot use it. But actually the spaces are there. Actually the spaces are there. In this position what we can do what we can do actually what is happening whenever i am pointing like that 3 plus 1 actually it is 4 but there we will do 4 mod 4 equals to 0 means now the rear will be point to 0 whenever it is 3 plus 2 that is 5 5 mod 4 that is now 1 so it will point here in this way if I am pointing by the mod operation means when it is already over then I am pointing to the first location again and if the first location is free I can utilize it. This is the concept of circular queue only. We have to do a mod operation with the size of the array. With the size of the array we have to do the mod operation. Whenever we are doing the mod operation with the size of the array, then the beginning part also we can utilize. Got it? So, circular queue is the linear data structure in which the FIFO first in first out principle everything will be there. But called a ring buffer. It is already called a ring buffer. Got it? Front will be here. Whatever I am doing plus. Here I am doing the plus. After that we will do the after that we will do the mod operation front equals to rare plus one modulo size got it yes clear what is the concept of circular queue this is called the circular queue here okay where we are using in memory management traffic system cpu scheduling everywhere it is using the normal circular queue these are the use of circular queue okay here you can see the input restricted queue. What is called input restricted queue? Input restricted queue means NQ is the insertion and here we are doing this deleting. This is normally. Here output restricted queue. This is called output restricted queue. Here is the NQ. NQ DQ will be there. This is called output. Input restricted means in this type of queue input can be taken from one side only rear. And deletion will be can be done from the both side. Input will be from the one side. Here you can see NQ is from the one side. But DQ from both side. NQ from the one side but DQ from the both side. Okay. That is called input restricted. 
okay here it is output restricted ha delete kyu karungi delete main nahi karti hu main delete to kabhi nahi karti hu kuch problem tha wo problem kuch main kahi pe job karti thi pata hai i was doing the job so there was some video where there was the promotion of that platform those video i make make separate and that's why those classes i am taking again so many student was not getting the software engineering classes and all some of the videos was not showing because of that there was the promotion of those platform that platform so where the promotion was there those videos i make it separate because i can't i don't want to promote that's why i did it otherwise i am not deleting otherwise i am not deleting any time that's why i has i had to do but now i am taking the class again right now i am covering those topic again so there will be no problem in this type of queue here it is output restricted you can see here the n queue is there there was the n queue and this is the d queue theek hai okay got it these are the concept you have to remember because theoretical questions are coming from here i will ask you tomorrow class will be tomorrow whenever we will start the class in that class first of all i will ask question from the stack queue from stack queue array there will be the question then after that we will do then after that we will do the next topic always every day i will uh, do the topic concept will be done i will ask you question you have to solve the question then we will do the next topic in this way this course will be going on double ended queue means from both side it is possible here also you can do n queue here also you can do n queue here also you can do d queue here also you can do d queue that is called double ended queue okay so in the double ended queue both side it is both side are front and rear both side will be front and rear that is called double ended okay so here clockwise and anti clockwise rotation will be there order of one here also order of one here you can see the difference here actually the difference will be there whenever you are inserting in d queue double ended queue you can see insert and deletion both are going on in both side and that's why it is order of one which is useful for the certain application okay got it yes now there are some other queues also acha tell me ha every day the class is going on ravina i think you are new so here it is 45 days crash course is going on this is a 45 days crash course is going on i am taking class 5:30 am and 6:30 pm you can see there is a playlist of 45 days crash course there i am going to take total 90 session and i am covering all the 10 units of ugc net here all the 10 units free courses are going on every day i am taking class already this is the 20 classes already over i already complete discrete math also software engineering also today i have started data structure algorithm so must watch those classes and must come 5:30 am also tomorrow will be the class on permutation combination and probability after that we will start the next toc class day after tomorrow tomorrow we are going to end the discrete math for now and day after tomorrow we will start the toc so toc will be in 5:30 morning class and evening class we will do the data structure algorithm two most important topic so must must come to the class okay theek hai so what is priority queue priority queue is that in priority queue it is a special type of queue you are setting the priority according to the priority you are going to take it okay according to the priority so priority serve according to its two types of priority queue are there one is ascending priority another is descending priority element can be inserted arbitrarily at the time of insertion there is no problem but 
whenever you are taking out whenever you are doing the dq operation then the restrictions are there the smallest element can be removed and that's why here you have to maintain the priority directly you cannot follow fifo here you cannot directly do it because first you have to take the smallest one then only you can go to that okay yes here the descending priority queue descending priority means here the largest element you have to remove first here the largest element you have to remove first in the given queue got it okay clear yes okay so everyone must join our telegram channel to get all the updates here you will get the all the updates you must join the telegram channel link list we will do tomorrow link list we will cover tomorrow one by one topic each and every topic i will discuss don't worry link list after covering link list we can start the tree also i think that will be better for everyone are you feeling bored are you enjoying the class or not something you learn something you learn yes one by one first of all that's why you have to make it in ascending order descending order that's why here the order of n that's why here whenever you are accessing if it is a if it is the minimum one if it is the priority queue that is in ascending order where you have to use the smallest one the smallest one first one you have to use then it will be order of one last element first you have to take all that then you have to come to the last okay yes yes okay insertion will be arbitrary that's why insertion will be order of one insertion will be order of one but the dq will be order of n here insertion will be order of 1 but dq will be order of n that is the problem here in the priority because you have to set the priority insertion based on arrival value but removal occurs on the priority according to the priority you have to dq so that's why it will be the dq operation okay so everyone join our telegram channel and install the app unify study i am sending you the app link also must install the unify study app because here in this app you will get the pdf pdfs are there you can get the pdf you can get the test series i am coming with the test series you can get the pyqs you can utilize the pyqs test series also here okay so must must install your unify study app you can search on play store also the unify study app is available there those who want to get the pdf of this class the pdf of the class will be available in the crash course is there is a crash course and i already upload the video also you have to pay 999 rupees the class is free of cost but if you want the pdf if you need the pdf then you can pay this and you can avail all the pdfs there whatever classes is going on here all the 90 session whatever i will took whatever class i am taking all the classes pdf you can access here if you are paying this money after paying this money it will be available to you okay theek hai so everyone definitely like share subscribe and install the app be connected with our telegram channel so you can get all the updates all the updates and everything bye everyone see you again see you again tomorrow tomorrow morning will be very important class that is your permutation combination probability i already gave the telegram link here telegram link i posted you can see the telegram link this is the telegram link i posted the telegram link here also
please click on the telegram link and install unify study app also everyone that will be beneficial for you okay yes and must follow the classes regularly if you are following the class regularly then definitely lots of thing you can learn okay bye everyone see you again tomorrow bye bye